Alrighty, so welcome back to my channel. We're starting off with a painted. I used um, acrylic paint and I painted it green. I sanded it down with um, artistry epoxy um, mattifying compound. So I sanded it and then I painted it. And we're just going to go ahead and apply our glitter using the epoxy method. And I found that this method works so much better for me. Like, I rather do this method over Mod Podge, but everyone is different. But, um, Sorry about my voice. I do have a cold. I've been trying to get rid of it for the last four days, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. But um, if you are new, welcome. I'm glad that you are here. Welcome to the craft family over here. We do pretty much everything under the sun that um, I kind of want to do and try. Um, this is my first time doing a peekaboo tumbler. So we're doing a peekaboo tumbler um, inspired by St. Patrick's Day, but um, if you are old, if you're if you already subscribed, welcome back. Hi. Um, once again, my name is Alea, and I'm the creator and owner of Made by Lily. And here I'm just epoxying my tumbler. It is a 20 ounce modern curve tumbler from the Stainless Depot, and um, you're just gonna see me here patting it, tapping it. Um, I did go in with, I want to say 10 milliliters of my epoxy and I pretty much used all of it. And, um, the glitter that I put all together, I just, it's a self mixture. I I don't even remember the names off of it, but, um, it's just glitter from Amazon. I got a big box of it in my kitchen. So, and I haven't used any of my green glitter and I actually had enough. So we're going to get into it and, um, I'll be back and I'll stop rambling, but, Go ahead and hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned. Alrighty, so I'm not going to try and talk too much because of my voice, but here's the after of me glittering. She is so beautiful. I've never really been a fan of green, like the color green up until now, but she is gorgeous. So after that, I applied my first coat of epoxy, and I do believe I did that, um, I think I did 20 milliliters, so 10 of part A and 10 of part B equals 20 20 milliliters so here this was a few days later um, I let it sit for a total of 12 hours and I was just taking my exacto knife I ended up going in with my a really sharp pocket knife here in the here in the next clip just because some of it was a little bit stubborn um, be careful with this part because I have cut myself and it is not fun always cut into your cup because you don't want to scrape the outside which I accidentally did but I was going to end up putting something on top of it anyways to do the peekaboo method. But with your dried epoxy, you do not want to put this down the sink. You do not want to mess your sink up. So um, that's why I always have a paper towel down or a napkin, as you can see my little mess there. But I was just showing you that I scuffed my um, cup up with a, I want to say a 180 to 220 grit sanding paper. And I got it off Amazon. And um, so, yeah, I ended up washing it in the sink. You can do that or you can use alcohol. And then um, I will show you the next step. So here I'm just showing you the vinyl that I used. And um, I pretty much put my cup on a little makeshift holder. And there's the gold vinyl. I ended up using, um, okay, <laughs> funny story. Um, I ended up using, um, 
permanent vinyl. You don't want to do that. You want to use removable vinyl. So I ended up using double-sided tape to put down underneath the white vinyl here where the clovers are. And that vinyl I got from Dollar Tree. It's I used I used that as the peekaboo because I really didn't care about ripping it off of the cup. And I wanted to use the double-sided tape to help with peeling off of it much easier and with having a layer of epoxy on I wasn't worried about you know peeling off any glitter or anything like that um, as far as my gold outline that vinyl is oracle vinyl and it's a really good vinyl and I'm still you know learning how to use my Cricut so I haven't experienced other vinyls but so far I really like oracle um, there are other types that I want to try but this part was actually really tedious, but it wasn't too bad. So I'm just going to play some music and I'll be back. So I ended up using this and a black spray paint. I did the black spray paint first and then I pretty much let that sit and then I was going to go ahead and use the Color Morphing Krylon's um, Color Morph, did I just say it twice? <laughs> Color Morph Green Gold Spray Paint on top of the black base coat. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We're going to go ahead and peel this off right fast. So here in this clip, I decided to do a voiceover just because I had just literally gotten home from work and um, my mom and my brother wants to talk, wants to talk to me about their day. So um, I muted it and I sped the clip up just because this part was actually very tedious for me, um, just because it was the first time I've ever done this kind of design. So I didn't know what to expect going into this. And there was a few things that I noticed when I went when I was going through this process. I literally, for one, I was holding my breath and um, there was some spray paint that actually came that came off, I guess, that left like marks. And I'll have a clip inserted, but it left a mark and I have to go in with um, some paint thinner to remove that spray paint that just shouldn't be there. Um, and yeah, so one lesson to learn from this is to just wait the hour to dry for the spray paint and then remove your vinyl and also putting down um uh, a double-sided tape was the best idea that I ever had just because um it allowed the vinyl to come off a little bit easier and it was just so much easier without having to really mess up my cup and put dents in it and rip up paint and stuff like that but um other than that it came out pretty good so i wanted to include a clip here it's just a frozen picture of a clip about how if i would have spray painted my cup accordingly my lines would have came out crispier and if i would have peeled it as soon as it dried it would have came out nicer the color shifting looks amazing like i'm actually really surprised now i don't know if it looks green gold it kind of looks more purple blue but anyway but um i have some paint thinner that i can use to kind of clean up my um clovers here so it's not all lost but other than that it looks great now we just have to do the gold and i'll probably do that later um but other than that she's gorgeous once again it's just the sun. It's just getting her. But yeah. Okay, there's the green. There's all the gold and stuff. 
Okay, so I am back after a few days. I sound better. I feel better. Let's get into it. So before I came on camera, I actually um, did three clovers off camera just so I knew how to explain this process to you guys um, on camera. So I ended up using transfer tape to um, peel off uh, off of my Cricut paper there onto um, the cup. And I found that this was so much easier than trying to take it off of the um, Cricut paper and trying to put it on there without the transfer tape. It just didn't work. But um, during the one thing I've learned learned during making tumblers, especially if it's your first time making a tumbler, a specific one, is that each step is important. I should have sealed this tumbler. Um, I should have sealed my second coat, especially using the morphing spray paint. I should have sealed it before I went in with a um, paint thinner because some of my clovers on this cup is not clovers anymore. So that's unfortunate, but we made it work. And, um, that's part of arts and crafts is that it's not going to be, um, everything's not going to come out right sometimes and that's okay. But, um, I ended up changing a few things and I'll explain that later on in the video. But I'm going to shut up now because I feel like I've been rambling this entire video and I do not want to lose you guys, lose interest. I don't want you guys to lose interest. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will be back. I'm going to play some music and I'm going to be quiet. So here in my next clip, I actually slowed it down just a little bit so you can see the difference from the last clip to this clip. When all else fails, when you have imperfections on your cup or if your cup is lacking in just oomph, add glitter. It makes everything better. But you wouldn't believe what happened to me towards the end of this um, project. I got fish eyes and I can't believe that I did. If you want a video of that, leave a comment down below and I will most definitely make a video on how to get rid of the fish eyes. But other than that, um, this is the end of the video. Thank you for sticking around. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.